Jeez, this video did well. Thank you for all who subbed from that video. And I think I know why it did so well. Is it the hundreds of hours of hard work you put into your videos to make them quality? No. It's because everyone hates this little runt. Including me. And it's really gotta take some garbage parenting and some whack genes to create a monster like this. Me! I'm the laugher! I'm the laughingest laugher that ever laughed! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! Yeah, that'll do it. Frank Heffley, everyone. Is he as cynical as his sons? No, but a combination of bad genes and parenting, and this is your result. Seriously, he's a terrible parent, and it's no wonder that these are the way his kids turned out. Throughout the entire series, he never shows any signs of love, and is more neglectful than anything. Whenever he has free time, he chooses to go ahead and ignore his family, and then go and play with his Civil War figurines. Even scaring Manny to prevent him from going into the basement. And disliking Rally, pretty much Greg's only friend and positive influence, simply because he's scared he may touch his toys. Yeah, a grown man choosing to go into the basement and play with his toys, instead of choosing to spend time with his family. The only other person I know who actually plays with this stuff is is Pops, and I'm pretty sure he's brain damaged. Oh no, bro! Mmm. <clears throat> says a lot. And okay, maybe the guy just really likes his hobby. He seems to spend a lot of time in the furnace room with his toys, constantly thinking about them, even when he's with his wife. So hey, maybe guy just likes his stuff. Or maybe it's it's more than that. It's an escape. Escaping from his own disappointment, purposely neglecting his own children. Frank doesn't spend a lot of time talking to Greg, but when he does, it's always complaining about who he is. He wants his child to be a quote-unquote man, forcing him into sports and other physical activities. But when Greg shows a lack of interest in the activities that Frank's image of what a man should be, he attempts to send him to military school. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing in itself. Military school can be good for a lot of kids, but he isn't sending him there because Greg's a bad kid, for the most part. Rather, it's in the hopes that Greg returns as a man. Wait. Go back. However, it confuses me as it makes far more sense to send Roderick, his older delinquent son, to straighten him out. Because Greg isn't his image of what his son should be, he purposely distances himself from his own family. I mean seriously, when have you ever seen Frank ever show any signs of love to his kids, or offer any parental advice? The only parenting they actually receive is from their enabler mother, as Frank just watches, never stepping in as she walks all over him. Bro, Frank wasn't even allowed to buy anything without her permission. What a bitch. The only time we ever see Frank actually spend time with his kids is when Greg was younger and tried to put him into different sports. But when Greg showed an extreme disinterest in what Frank wanted him to do, he stopped even caring. But what's even worse about Frank is that he isn't just disappointed that his kids aren't participating in what he wants them to. The worst part is how he won't even allow his kids to express their joy for anything else. It's obvious that Roderick wants to be a drummer, so you should support that, even if you yourself don't take an interest in it. But Frank says, screw that, and hardly supports him at all. Even driving away the people who showed up to their house just to listen to Roderick's band. And yeah, I wouldn't really want some greasy emo teens on my driveway either, but don't drive away the people who support your son when you don't even do that yourself. The same thing with Greg, he loves video games, but Frank doesn't like it, and if Frank doesn't like it, then neither can they. The only other time we see Frank actually show an interest in his kids is when Greg wanted to work out. So Frank got all excited and bought him a rack for Christmas, only for it to never really be used. This essentially confirms that Frank really only cares about his kid's interest when he is interested. The saddest part about all this is how Frank doesn't want his kids to be manly because that's how he was. In fact, it's the very opposite. As a kid, he was scrawny, someone who got pushed around and bullied. Most likely, Frank wanted to live through his kids, taking pride in them being strong and athletic. But when his kids decide to not be any of that, he rejects them cowering away rather than accepting them for who they are and supporting their choices. And you may argue that Frank just wants his kids to be strong, to stand up to bullies and look good. But if that was the case, 
then the amount of disappointment he expresses when they aren't interested in a thing that he values and instead they enjoy other things should not be as prevalent. And if Frank really wanted to help his kids to be stronger because he really wanted the best for his kids, then we would have seen him tell Greg that and work with him, but he never does. I mean, his separation is obvious. He spends all of his time in the furnace room with his toys to avoid spending time with his family, because secretly, he's disappointed in them. He doesn't like how his kids don't conform to what his idea of what an idealized son should be, and won't even accept their passion for anything else hardly ever showing signs of love, and spending his time away from his family. He's selfish, and is really a deadbeat dad. Also, he probably beats his kids. <laughs> Anyone remember this part? Greg could be exaggerating here, but I'm pretty sure that he just casually beats on them. It's only left out of his diary because he's trying to repress the memories, and therefore not writing it to avoid remembering. Look at you, sitting there. 10% of you think I'm spitting facts, but the other 90% of you think I'm talking nonsense, telling me how this is all headcanon. Well, too bad, because... too bad. Alright, hopefully you could take a joke, and hopefully you enjoyed this theory video. Seriously though, thank you to everyone who watched this video, and came from the Manny one as well. Seriously though, I urge you to check out my other videos, I spend a lot of time making them, and think that they're worth the time. And with that though, I will see you next time. Hopefully. Bye.